this week, you'll take a look at the four most influential adult learning theories and then discuss those theories for deeper understanding. Skinner may be the most recognized theorist who advanced the behaviorism perspective that we studied last week. Skinner's work is extremely important and is used daily by animal trainers around the world. Using Skinner's operant conditioning theory, we can train dogs to sit, dance in a circle, or even ride a bicycle. His work also has a great deal of importance for those of us who are training adult humans. Skinner believed that if we reward a human for appropriate behavior, then that behavior will be repeated. This is why some elementary school teachers keep a jar of M&Ms on their desk. When a student behaves appropriately, they get a reward. Exactly the same response can happen with adults. I attend one or two conferences every year as part of my personal professional development. At those conferences, it's very common for some trainer to lead a session and at the end of the session give away some prize, like a t-shirt or some bauble. It's always interesting to me to see how everyone perks up and listens carefully in order to earn even the cheapest of rewards. A thanks to good old Skinner. Jean Piaget was one of the champions of constructivism. As practiced by both constructivists and socialists, Piaget believed that humans learn by constructing their own reality and linking new learning experiences to what was learned before. He believed that knowledge was gained by first assimilating some new information and then accommodating that into the learner's prior experience. For adult learners, though, Piaget's been criticized because he worked only with children, and his work seems to stop at about the age of 18. It isn't clear that his theory is valid for adults. However, it is important to understand that adults link current educational activities with prior experiences. Jack Mesereau first put forth the idea of transformational learning, or learning which transforms lives. As an example, learning to read is transformational event. However, just learning what's playing on TV tonight is not so transformational. While the goal of any adult training should be transformational, it is certainly true that not every lesson would have that type of impact on a student's life. Mesereau's theory tends to come up a bit short in that he never discusses how instructors teach transformational lessons. However, other theorists have expanded Mesereau's work to include teaching and learning practices that could lead to a transformational experience. A three of the most important expansion of, of Mesereau's original work were adding the values of experience, critical reflection, and discourse in a classroom experience to the transformational activity. Finally, Malcolm Knowles created a whole new theory of adult learning, which he named andragogy, to separate it from the way a child learns and is typically, typically called pedagogy. Knowles was a humanist and he made four important assumptions about human learning. One, adults tend to be self-directed. Two, adults come to class with personal histories. Three, adults are motivated socially. And four, adults seek applications for problem solving. Knowles' work has been significantly expanded by a number of theorists and practitioners and remains one of the most important resources for trainers today. This week, you'll consider all four of these important theories. We'll also have a lively discussion in our forum about these theories, and you'll have an opportunity to submit a paper demonstrating your expertise of these theories. Good luck with your class, and remember, help is only a phone call or click away. Mm -hmm.